On this Mother's Day, we are taking a closer look at foster care in Minnesota. According to the Department of Human Services, more than 12,000 children and young adults experienced out of home care in 2021. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell spoke with some foster care families who are making a difference in children's lives. We were all adopted. Uh, my parents continued to foster children throughout our childhood and um, just bring people in to our home. For Martha Winkleman, fostering was a way to honor her father's legacy. Now she's a single foster mom in Hennepin County doing just that. We opened our home, opened my heart, and um, the gift has been mine to receive ever since. In Minnesota, caretaker drug use is the most common reason that children and youth are placed into foster care, followed by allegations of neglect and mental health needs. As for leaving foster care, most are reunited with family, some adopted, and others age out of the system. Mike and Missy Evans have fostered 10 children since 2015 and adopted Grace their first placement. Now they're in South Africa adopting their fourth daughter. In search of support, Evans founded Foster One based out of Substance Church. So we have hundreds of people who through meals, through um, encouragement, through support, and it's those people who are making it possible that foster families can continue on for a long term. What would you say to people who are interested in fostering but maybe don't know where to start? Start asking questions. Like someone who's going into foster care needs to know the hard, but they also need to know the beautiful. To foster, expect a background check, home visit, and training courses. The county also provides a lot of support in terms of, you know, daycare. So it, it works. It's not as complicated as you would think or, or you would imagine. In Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. May is also Foster Care Awareness Month. If you're interested in learning how to foster or looking for support as a current foster parent, we have resources on our website, WCCO.com.